I'm Dana Kennedy. I'm a reporter for The Post. And last week, The Post sent me to Texas to investigate what we heard was maybe the biggest no-go illegal immigrant or undocumented worker sanctuary city in the country. It's a place called Colony Ridge. And if you haven't heard of it, you're not alone because it's really flown under the radar for the last 10 years. But it's a sprawling series of subdivisions. So Colony Ridge was the brainchild of these two multimillionaire developer brothers who figured out 15 years ago, they're going to buy up all these wetlands, cut it into lots and turn it into like the American dream for poor Latinos. And they they use very slick advertising and sort of hot models to advertise Colony Ridge. The idea is you don't have to put any money down and you can have your piece of the American dream. So this is Colony Ridge. And that sounds great. But I went there and the reality is a little bit different. And there's a lot of ramshackle shanties, people living in tents. A lot of people I tried to talk to, like, let their pit bulls out of their chain link fences when I tried to say hello. It's a pretty shady place. And as a result, it's become the epicenter right now of a big fight between the locals, the developers, and the entire Republican legislature. Governor uh, Greg Abbott has called for a special legislative session October 9th, and the entire Republican delegation says it needs an investigation. I also spoke to several Latinas who bought property there. You're, they're U.S. citizens, and there's certainly plenty of U.S. citizens that live at Colony Ridge, but they bought there with the American dream in their mind, and they told me that it became a total money pit. Now, the brothers sell Colony Ridge as a really cheap place to get your piece of the American dream. You put down $500, they say, you don't need to go through the bank, it's owner financing. But once people get there, they find all these fees sort of pile up. They're also expected to pay credit card interest rates on their mortgage. So a lot of people wind up walking away foreclosing. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when the uh, legislator takes a look at it. It's a little hard to put the genie back in the bottle when you have a development this size. It's 50% bigger currently than Manhattan with up to 75,000 people there. And the people that are the most vocal critics say, watch out, this is the future of America. And they remind me that Houston is right down the street. It's the biggest trafficking hub in the country. And Eagle Pass is about 300 miles away. That's the big border crossing right now that they fear that some people are coming from to go to Colony Ridge.